Hey guys, in this video, let's use set variable or initialize variable action in logic app. So what is our requirement? When a blob is uploaded, we want to read the blob name and blob URL and then we want to save that blob name and blob URL in SQL DB. And guys, we want to save the complete URL of uploaded blob and not just the relative path. So, this is our logic app workflow and basically the trigger is when a blob is added, right? And then the action is insert row, that is we are adding those blob details in SQL server. Now, if I open it, so in this SQL server, we have table that is TBL blob details and we have two columns that is blob name and blob URL. So we are reading the uploaded blob name from this list of file name parameter and then we are adding it in this blob name column of our SQL server. Similarly, we are reading the path of uploaded blob from this list of files path parameter and then we are adding it in this column that is blob URL of our SQL server. So if you upload a blob, obviously this workflow will run and a record will get added in SQL server, but it gets added something like this, that is blob name and then blob URL. But see, this is not the actual URL, but it is the relative path of uploaded blob, right? But now we want to add a complete path for this blob. And again, complete URL, that means If I go to my storage account, my container, let's open this blob and then let's copy this URL and the URL is something like this. So basically we want to save URL something like this, that is full URL, right? And now let's do that. So again guys, we are in our logic app and now mm, let me just collapse this. Guys, can you see this plus icon? So let's click on it and then I will say add an action and here let's search for variable. And guys, can you see this initialized variable? So let's select it. And here let's give name to this variable so i will say storage account home page and the type it will be stream and then the value so let's go to our storage account now on the left hand side endpoints and guys this is going to be home page or endpoint for our storage account right see this one so let's copy it and let's say and let's add it as a variable value and i will simply remove this last slash so this will be the base url for our uploaded blob and then to this we will append the relative path of uploaded blob right so here i will collapse this now let's open this action And guys, under this blob URL. So let's just remove this. Now, guys, can you see this icon? So it is for expression. So let's click on it. And under functions, let's select this function that is concat. And now, as we can guess, we need to concat two strings that is base URL for our storage account and then the relative path of uploaded blob. So for that, let's click on this dynamic content. So first let's select this storage account homepage that is base URL of our storage account comma and then list of files path and now we'll say add and now I will collapse it. So basically that's it guys and now let's say save. And now if I check the contents of our SQL server table, see as of now we have only one record, right? So, and now let's upload a new blob. So let's go to our storage account, containers, 
my container i will say upload browse and now i will upload this car2.jpg and i will say upload and now let's go back to our logic app so let's wait for few seconds okay guys so we have waited for few seconds and now let's click on this run history so yes we can see the latest successful run and let's cross check in sql server and now i'll run this query again and yes see this car 2 and we can see the complete url for this uploaded blog 